Okay, guys, for the past year or so, I've been working on this little drone um, that I wanted to show all of you. Um, in this video, I'm going to cover things like flight time. I'll give you a comparison between the two. Um, we're going to compare noise levels and just show you how incredible this little tiny drone is. Um, for starters, let's go over weight. Here we have kind of your typical uh, five inch FPV racing drone. Sorry, I only have one hand. Um, you can see this drone is 337 grams. For a five inch drone, you can see they're running the exact same size of props. But for a five inch drone, this, this is pretty typical. Now, if we, if we weigh this one, 71 grams. That, guys, is insane. Additionally, these are heavier propellers. I have these lighter propellers, which I can run. They're not quite as efficient or quiet. With these propellers, I can get that weight down to about 55, 60 grams. Um, so, I mean, this drone is insanely light. Um, I've got a 6... 100 milliamp 2s. This battery will get a 20 minute flight time. And it's still just a hair over 100 grams. Um, if, you, if we come back over here, I have a custom built lithium ion battery pack for the big drone. And to get this big drone, 20 minutes of flight time is over 600 grams. So six times lighter weight for the same flight time. Now, this drone is capable of over one hour flight times. I mean, this, this thing is tiny. It barely weighs anything. Um, and with our one hour battery here, we're not even to 180 grams. I mean, this, this drone is incredible. Um, to, to show just how efficient this little tiny drone is, it hovers with this small battery at about 11 watts. For comparison, this big drone here with this battery hovers at about 200 watts. Full throttle on this drone takes about half the power as this drone does just to hover. It is insanely efficient. Now, I wanted to go over noise levels for you guys. So, let's put the battery back in. Um, so this little drone, I built it around efficiency, but in turn, it is extremely quiet. So, I've got a... I've got this decibel meter. It's probably not super accurate. Um, it's it's going to be kind of blurry, but you can sort of see roughly how how loud each drone is to get a true idea. But 70 decibels. That's. Um, I don't know exactly how accurate this decibel meter is, um, but this will give a good comparison. So 70 decibel meters. That's like a loud conversation, maybe music. So here, here's the quiet drone.
We're at about 50 decibels. Incredibly quiet. So, 70 to 47 decibels may not sound huge, but that is almost 10 times quieter. It is ridiculously quiet. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Um, you can see on this drone, uh, we're running a um, sort of like an all-in-one flight controller. So that combines the flight controller, the ESC, um, yeah, kind of all, all the necessary electronics. We do have a separate receiver, um, which does add a couple grams. It's got DJ Mavic, or uh, DJ Mini 2 motors. Um, and then we're running the this Diatone 5030 prop, except the pitch has been modified, so it's closer to like a five inch pitch, which drops the propeller RPM and makes it more quiet and efficient. Um, the frame is a pyro drone, um, and it has been, the entire frame has had about a third of its uh, thickness removed. So it used to be, I think, a five millimeter frame. Now it's like a three millimeter frame. Um, and then it's had a whole bunch of unnecessary components removed. I can, for, um, probably a 10 gram increase, add in a, an FPV camera and a um, VTX that will be good for about a half mile range. Um, but I mean, it's just, it's an incredible little drone. Thanks for watching.